Hello everyone and welcome again to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some more altered plain cards and I'm going to be using gesso and some new inks that I have received um, recently. I'm quite excited as I've not used them before so we'll see how they work together during this video. To prepare the plain card I am putting some Mod Podge and some plain white tissue paper over. This is just to um, allow the background or the, the print of the plain card not to shine through so much. I like it to be more muted so I'm putting two layers um, of the tissue paper and I'm using just white as I don't want the underneath color to affect the actual artwork I want to do on top. I apply another coat of Mod Podge over the tissue paper. This is to allow me to be able to paint on top of the tissue paper without it becoming too soggy and tearing. It sort of like just seals the um, tissue paper. I'm using white gesso and a stencil to press through and make some designs onto the card. The spot stencil looks great, the other two are smudging a little bit, but that's okay, we'll make it work. Once the gesso is completely dry, we're going to start with the painting. I'm using the ink directly from the bottle onto the card. I'm first spraying with a small mist of water just to create the surface for the ink to run on. And then I do a spray and I just let it run down um, in between the grooves of the gesso. And I'm not, I don't want the full cards just red. I want darker areas and lighter areas. That is why I add a little bit, leave it to run down. I sometimes spray a little bit more water. Just let the, the color flow uh, until it has a design that you like. I will use the same technique for the other two colors. Just to add more dimension to each card, I'm using a smaller circle stencil and applying white gesso through that just in certain areas of the card. To make each card more bold, I'm going to add some black edging. I'm just using black watercolor 
here for this one and I'm just putting on the edges and letting it run in in between the grooves I'm not I don't want it too dark but I do like the way the black enhances and brightens the contrast And then adding some black splatter with the same black watercolour. Now to embellish these cards, I want to do some little cut out flowers that I'm going to use some print from an encyclopedia and put a coloured centre. So I've just found some cardstock or paper that I've had that matches the tone of each card as the center of the flower and I've cut a circle and then I'm just going to cut the little petals I've just drawn a pencil marking of what I think will look okay I find that it's too large so I just keep cutting it smaller until it fits and is a good size for the card I'm sticking the colored center dot onto some black cardstock that has some print on it and I'm going to just cut that around with leaving a couple of millimeters just around the circle. This will just give the circle a little black trim, a little edge which picks up the black from the card which gives a good contrast and allows the center dot to stand out a little bit. I'm just using a glue stick to stick the petals onto the back of the circle. I don't want the flowers totally symmetrical. I like them to be a little imbalanced and imperfect. I do find that gives it more character and a bit more fun. I'm using a black gel pen just to go around each petal which gives it good definition and makes the flower stand out and makes it look more sketchy or like hand sketched which is what the look I was looking for. Here I'm using just black thread, just from like my sewing machine thread. I'm just pulling a long piece and just crumpling it up. I want just a bunch of string just underneath each flower. This doesn't have to be neat or in any certain way. Just cut a long piece, crumple it up and put it underneath. I'm adding some stamping here too. I'm just using my favorite acrylic stamp, which is like a vintage handwriting with some black ink onto the background, which I think finishes off the background um, card quite nicely. I 
I want to add a little quote or wording to each of these cards. I'm trying to use this, um, it's a Kaiser Craft 12 by 12 inch cardstock, and it has all little words on with dictionary meanings, which I really like. But I found that it was just too wide for the card and I couldn't make it work. I tried a thinner one, I tried different ones, it just wasn't working. So then I went back to my little die cuts and I've got some little black um, die cuts with some white typewriter wording on and I think I'll use those. They were getting a little bit lost in the background so I just put them on a backing of some of the dictionary paper, the same that I used for the petals of the flower. Just stuck them on, just trimmed around. They don't have to be exact. Um, I didn't measure them. I just cut around and they're a little bit uneven, but I do like that and it gives a good overall effect for the design of this card. I'm just using a hot glue gun to secure all the elements onto the backing card. I think this is the easiest way to attach them. It's quite secure and it dries quickly. So as soon as the glue is dry, the card is ready to go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm just going to show you a close up of each one just so you can see the different textures and the way the colors are blending. It was really fun to do. I hope you find some inspiration to go and try some of this yourself or some of your own projects. I'd love it if you subscribed to my channel and I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.